With half of the world's oceanic sharks at risk of extinction, conservationists have been scrambling to find ways to preserve the creatures and their habitat. In an effort to end shark finning in Palau and around the world, Dermont King founded the Palau Shark Sanctuary in November 2001. The Palau Shark Sanctuary protects 600,000 square kilometers of ocean and provides a safe habitat for sharks and marine life to flourish. The Palau president at the time, Mr. Tommy E. Remingasau Jr., was a key supporter of the efforts of the Palau Shark Sanctuary. In May 2003, a vessel had been caught fishing illegally in Palau waters. Remingasau took the chance to set an example of them by setting fire to the shark fins found aboard. For Noah Itichong, an environmental activist and former chief of Palau's government division of marine resources, the protection of these sharks is closely linked to the way of life in Palau. There is somebody just taking the sharks away from Palau and actually mutilating the sharks. And actually Palauans don't really like to see those things happen in their backyards. The reality of shark spinning is gruesome. As many as 100 million sharks are killed each year around the world. Their fins are removed while their body is tossed back to sea for them to slowly bleed out and sink to the bottom of the sea. This has led the shark population to near extinction. All of this just to satisfy it, the luxury of humans eating shark fin soup and other delicacies. It was considered a status symbol to be able to catch a huge animal and just use a little part of it. Their fins are cut off, um, including their dorsal fin, the back fin, and the side fins, pectoral fins, and even the tail. And the shark is thrown back into the water, often alive. This has inspired groups to band together and monitor the movements and populations of sharks in Palau. Efforts to bring public attention to the atrocities of shark finning and the effect on the islands and surrounding marine life has led to ongoing protection for the shark population. Part of the trouble conservationists have with saving the shark population is getting attention from more than just the diving community. Today, the Shark Sanctuary educates the public about Palau's marine environment, lectures, organizes week-long environmental education tours. The shark sanctuary now stretches to include over 250 islands. Sharks are thriving and the rest of the marine community has benefited as well with Palau having more life than the Great Barrier Reef and the Coral Sea. The tourism industry in Palau, which is its main source of income, has also benefited. Shark watching is one of the biggest attractions in and around the island today. My name is uh, Jansson Toribyong. I am the President of the Republic of Palau. We have a symbiotic relationship with the ocean. And that if we abuse the ocean, we will more or less diminish the quality of our life, even our very survival. Millions and millions of sharks a year are killed and the bodies are disposed into the water while they slice off the fins to make shark fin soup. The need to protect our sharks much outweighs the need to enjoy a bowl of shark fin soup. Unless 
we raise our children to love the oceans, the seas, and the marine environment, we may lose forever the beauty and the resourcefulness of our ocean. I urge the world leaders, the parents, to teach their children to love the oceans of the world. And to the children who love the ocean, please write to your leaders, to your congressmen, to your senators, to urge them to enact laws and adopt policies which will protect and conserve our resources.